I lived my life as if I were indestructible, as if tomorrow would always come. I never doubted that my life was going in a straight line to some certain and clearly defined point. Everything seemed so tangible and full of meaning, and I never bothered to question anything. Then the Civil War came and I joined the anarchists to thwart Franco. A year later I was caught after I hid a top-level anarchist and I was thrown into some putrid prison. Now I had to wait for my sentence, most likely a sentence of death. For the first time I realized that tomorrow might not come. All the things I thought important would evaporate in a second and then there would be nothing except for a low grunt and a pitiful struggling of my limbs. All my life I had understood nothing. I spent my life counterfeiting eternity. What are their names? Tom Mirbal. Tom Steinbach. Amande Vieta. My, my brother Jose is the anarchist. You know he died a few weeks ago. I don't belong to any party. I, I never had anything to do with politics. I haven't done anything. I don't want to die for someone else. You're a member of the International Brigade? Amanda Ivieta. Where's Raymond Gris? No. No. You hit Raymond Gris from the 6th to the 19th. No. screwed. I think so too. You know what they do in Saragossa? They lay men down on the road and they run them over with trucks. 
Moroccan deserter told us that. They said it was to save on ammunition. Yeah, well, it doesn't save on gas. And there's the officers walking along the road, supervising it all. They stick their hands in their pockets and they smoke cigarettes. Think they finish the guys off? They just let them scream, sometimes for an hour. The Moroccan guy said he damn near puked the first time. Jesus Christ, it's getting hot. Pick up your shovels. You'll all be shot five miles from here. It's not possible. Not me. I told you we were going to get it. him alone. Do you think it'll hurt? Very long? No. It's over quickly. But they told me sometimes I have to fire twice. Sometimes it may happen that the first volley reaches no vital organs. Then they have to reload and aim their rifles all over again? That takes time. I, I, I don't understand. What's the matter? Something is going to happen to us that I can't understand. You'll understand soon enough. It isn't clear. I want to be brave, but first I need to know. Listen, they're going to take us into some open space. Good. They're going to stand up in front of us. Will both of them shoot? I don't know. Probably not. All right. Only one of them will shoot. Someone will holler aim and I'll see a rifle barrel looking at me. And I'll think how I'd like to dissolve into the ground. I'll clench my fists and push against the ground with my feet with every ounce of strength that I have. But the ground will not budge. It will not accept me. I can imagine all that. If you only knew how well I can imagine it. All right. All right, I can imagine it, too. It must hurt like hell. You know, they aim at your, your face, your eyes, and your mouth to disfigure you. I can feel the wounds already. I've had pains in my head and my neck for the past hour. This is how I'm going to feel tomorrow morning as I try to push, push myself into the ground. And then... Then you'll be pushing up daisies. It's like a nightmare. You think you know something. You always have the impression that it's all right, that you're going to understand, and then it, it slips. It escapes you and fades away. I tell myself there will be nothing afterwards, but I can't understand what it means. 
and sometimes I almost can and, and then it, it fades. I start thinking about the pains again and the bullets and the explosions. I have to think, think that I won't see anything anymore and that the world will go on for others. We aren't made to think that, Amanda. Believe me, I stayed up a whole night waiting for something. But this is not the same. This will creep up behind us, Amanda, and we will not be able to prepare for it. Shut the hell up! Do you need a priest? You think what they say is true? That everything ends? Get your leg, you pig. What is it? You're pissing in your pants. It's not true. I'm not pissing. I don't, I don't feel anything. I don't, I don't know what it is. But I'm not afraid. I swear I'm not afraid. What the hell is happening? We're here. Jesus Christ, it's starting. Dig here. But we only have two shovels. There'll still be three graves. Give him the shovel. No digging. You next. Where's Raymond Gris? I don't know. It's his life against yours, you understand? I, I, I thought he was in Madrid. You have five minutes to think it over. After they told me I was going to die, everything started to slip away from me as if I were in a vacuum. When I looked at my hands, it took me a few seconds to realize that they were mine. They look like giant worms moving lazily. I could easily give them what they wanted. I could tell them that Ramon Gris was hiding at his cousin's house ten kilometers outside the city. But I won't tell them, and that seems comical to me. Almost absurd. My feelings for Ramon Gris died the same time my will to live died earlier today. The only thing that I wanted now was to see these idiots move around and get excited, as if everything had some sort of importance. They were in the same boat as me, except they didn't know it. Nothing matters because everything is going to end. Ramon Gris is in the cemetery, two kilometers east of Valencia. He's either hiding in the gravedigger shack or in the vault.
Radio Lieutenant Lopez. You. I'll let you off if you're telling the truth, but it'll cost you plenty if you're making asses out of us. Let's go. The others will be here in 15 minutes. Amanda. Garcia, what are you doing here? They got me a couple of days ago. They're bringing in some new prisoners. I have to dig for the disabled ones. The ones who can't dig themselves. You look terrible. I thought you were dead. They got grease. He messed everything up. It happened this morning. He was with his cousin until Tuesday, but they argued. A lot of people would have hit him, but uh, he didn't want to owe anybody anything. So he hid in the cemetery instead. In the cemetery? Yeah. Outside of Valencia. What an idiot. They were bound to catch up with him. They got him in the grave digger's shack. He shot at them. Then they got him. <laughs> in the cemetery. 